week's meetings, the City Council adopted the new budget, discussed a rideshare pilot program coming this fall, and several firefighters have applied to rejoin a statewide search and rescue team. Those items and much more were up for discussion during the Broken Arrow City Council, Municipal Authority, and Economic Development Authority meetings on June 20th. Hello everyone, I'm Aaron McCulloch, Communications Manager for the City of Broken Arrow. Thank you for joining me for this edition of City Council Highlights. The consent agenda was jam-packed during this second meeting of June, so we'll start there with these approvals. First up, Aspen Ridge Development, where the new Reeser's Grocery Store will be in South Broken Arrow. The city will construct an enclosed sewer system and the developer will create a drainage ditch for stormwater runoff at the site. The cost of the sewer system will not exceed $400,000 and it will be paid with the TIF note. Broken Arrow Fire Department received the okay to purchase two new replacement fire trucks for approximately $1.4 million. However, due to manufacturing delays, the trucks will not arrive until 24 to 26 months from now. BAFD will help Central's tech students with field training for the school's EMT and paramedic programs. The clinical rotations allow the students to ride along on ambulances to gain supervised patient care experience. And six firefighters have applied to serve on the Oklahoma Task Force One Urban Search and Rescue Team. That includes five who are returning and one who's a first time member. Thank you to these six firefighters for their commitment to serve and help others, especially during disaster response situations. Tulsa Transit will continue to provide transportation services in Broken Arrow for another year. The cost of the agreement is $283,000. Staying with transportation, a rideshare pilot program will be launched later this fall. The city partnered with Uber to provide visitors at the hotel district with rides to and from the Rose District and New Orleans Square. The cost of the program is $50,000. Stay connected for more information as we get closer to introducing this exciting opportunity in the fall. Improvements are coming to two city parks. First, a large 70-foot by 35-foot shade structure will replace three umbrella-style coverings providing visitors more relief from the sun, and it will update the look at the Family Aquatic Center on South Main Street. The cost of the new replacement shade structure is $60,000. Over at Wolf Creek Park, construction will begin soon on a 20-square-foot shade pavilion and concrete footings and slab. The cost of the new pavilion and installation will cost $39,000. Moving on to general council business, City Council adopted the fiscal year 2023 annual budget. The $311 million operating and capital improvement budget includes a $40 million general obligation bond sale for projects throughout the community. The budget can be found on the finance page of the city's website. Speaking of the bond sale, the seventh series of the 2018 GO Bond is out for bid. Council is expected to award the bonds to the bidder that submitted the lowest interest rate at next month's meeting on July 19. The list of projects in the $40 million sale can be found on the city's website. Council made the ward redistricting boundaries official with the approval of Resolution 1467. Wards 2 and 4 expand due to the growth of Wards 1 and 3. Sticking with boundaries, an agreement between the City of Broken Arrow and Wagner County was approved by Council. The interlocal agreement details responsibilities and ownership of maintenance, operation, and financial obligation for public rights of way that are shared between the City and the County. The agreement will now go to Wagner County Board of Commissioners before it becomes official. Stay tuned for more information about what the agreement means for New Orleans Street between 209th and 215th East Avenues and the bridge on County Line Road at 161st Street. Four citizens signed up to speak about the color scheme options for the interior of the intersection at New Orleans and Elm. Individually, they issued support of the eventual concept that Council chose. A blue medallion of the New Orleans Square logo centered in a white square with white crosswalks and borders. The blue is a unique color which will help set the intersection apart from any other. The council also agreed to revise the construction contract and add 21 days to the timeline of the improvements project. In the Municipal Authority meeting, the trustees awarded nearly $220,000 for the purchase of waterline accessories for the relocation of the 24-inch water main along 37th Street between Kenosha and Houston Streets. Moving the water line prepares the area as part of the road widening project. And finally, the Solid Waste and Recycling Department reported more than 3,895 tons of trash and 461 tons of recyclables collected in May, an increase of 26% from the month of April. As you can see, there's a lot going on in the city of Broken Arrow. The next council meeting is Tuesday, July 19th. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you around Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to BrokenArrowOK.gov. If you have any questions about items discussed in the meeting, please contact the City Manager's Office at 
8419 or email mspurgeon at brokenarrowok.gov.